be pre braided and um, wash moisturize and everything to my locks um, like I said I braided it in a way to where it I laid it flat as possible there was no particular exact pattern I was following I was just trying to get it laid as as flat as possible um, and then I went ahead and concealed the ends with a black rubber band and now like I talked about last night my locks are not long at all so I can't like braid them all going back this way so I'm going to take each lock and and turn it up and um, sew it like that so that it can be laid flat so take a lock everything being sewn up and in nothing fancy at all just something to get the job done so the hair I'm using is Cuban twist hair and this is the braidable twist weaving so this has tracks to it here's another pack that already is out the package so it has tracks so I'm gonna sew that in the back work my way up um, again it's the Cuban hair and then I got um, the actual twist hair itself this is 16 inch I'm gonna cut it in half and I'm gonna do crocheted braids crochet it to the front to be more natural so that's what the goal is and then after that proceed to curl and style and everything like that but I'm gonna go ahead and take this out sew it I'm probably gonna double it at the base at right here until we can get all the bulkiness concealed and then go single on top just some just alright you guys so I just used up one pack of the track hair just sewed in one pack and this is what it's looking out like so far I'm gonna do a 360 so y'all can see so the bulkiness of my locks is hidden now I'm about to sort of hurry up and finish the rest so there you go so I am gonna open up the second pack I have and I'm going to sew that on there And you're sewing this on just like as if you're showing in regular hair. No specific way you want to do it. Here it is. And I was doubling it up for volume. Um, now I think I'm not going to. Alright, so I'm all done sewing in my hair, and now it's just the crochet part of it, and I'm basically almost done, it's probably taking another 30 minutes or so, and I'm all done with the install. This is how much of the track hair I have left. I have this little piece, and this little piece, I was basically trying to use it all, because I don't want to be crocheting a lot of my hair in. Hair I want that and track. crochet it in. Um, what I'm going to do is because this is 16 inches, I'm going to cut it in half to get 8 inches. Yep, 16 inches. And the sewing hair was 12 inches, so it wouldn't really look right to have 16 inches be longer. And plus, when I blow dry, it's going to elongate the hair as well. So I'm going to cut this in half to ha so it'll be um, 8 inches. And uh, start to rush it. left. I'm going to take one and cut that into two and that's what I'll be crocheting in my hair until I get to like the front I'm going to crochet um, divide it even more but for now I'm going to use this cut in half and how you crochet is it's very easy let me try to make sure y'all can see okay so I'm going to start here put in the hook Have the hair here. Make sure it's even. You wanna put that on the hook. Close the latch. Clasp it. Bring it back. Take the hook off. You have a loop right here, and you have your hair right here. You wanna do? Put your hands in. 
take one strand and tie it like that. And that's it. That way you can fold it this way or you can fold it that way. But that's really it. So I'm going to continue doing this throughout my whole entire head. And I'll be back. So this is just a carnier. I'm going to start off do it using it in low, on low, and then I'm going to go to high. Let's see how it works out. I did it into four sections. I got my hot rollers. They're warming up over here. Then I got my flat irons. Should be hot by now. And I'm going to start off on like a low setting and work my way higher because um, I don't want to burn the hair. So I'm going to work on this back section first. I'm just finger combing just a little bit and um, then I'm going to just flat iron it. See this is 12 inches y'all. You saw them see like 10, 12 inches. Look how long it is past my, almost to my waist. <laughs> Let's get to flat like, ironing. I'm sorry that I did not unravel the hot rollers in front of you guys. Um, I will post pictures in between this video. Um, so what I went ahead and last night, because I was in a hurry, I was going out. My husband was rushing me, so I wasn't able to record. But um, last night when I came home, I two-stranded twist my hair and I put these rows at the end. My dog is bothering me right now. But both of them. Here's one of them. <laughs> And the other one just walked away. Um, but I two strand twisted and I put these perm ones at the end. And then this morning I dipped it in hot water while I was, before I ate breakfast and just let it kind of air dry a little bit. But now I'm gonna take it down in front of you guys since y'all didn't see the other one. Like I said, I will post pictures so you guys can see it. Um, and to be honest with you guys, I did not like it um, with the hot rollers. I did not like how it turned out. Um, because I just felt like it was just too fluffy, it was frizzy, it was coarse. I just didn't like how it looked. So I'm hoping I would like this one way better than I like um, that. And I was actually debating cutting it into a bob and I don't know. And with this hair, you guys, you got to keep in mind it is Marley hair, therefore it is coarse. Because <laughs> I feel like, I don't know why, when I watched the video of people doing this, it looked like it was softer because of how the texture looked smoother, but it was not. That was definitely not the case. So I'm 
all done fluffing it out and this is how it looks I guys I don't like it this is probably gonna be in my hair for like two weeks I'm just gonna keep playing around with it until I find something that I like but this is it I'll turn around so you guys can see. Sorry, and here's the other side. I don't know. You guys, tell me what you what you think. Um, it is definitely something different, and that's what I've been wanting because I just I don't know. I just you need something different. So, um, it is something different, but I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I honestly don't know. I think I'm gonna wear You guys tell me how you feel. I will update you guys, like, if I do decide to cut it into a bob, or, um, I'll continue the videos, like, and show you guys different ways I, um, different ways I curl it tonight I think I'm gonna try a braid out on it and dip it in some hot water tomorrow here's my other dog they just be bothering me he is you guys probably seen him before he's a troublemaker so he's always doing stuff in the background so if you guys hear that's probably you probably heard them in this video already but yeah it's them they just messing with me um damn but yeah, tell me how you like it. I'm not sure how I feel about it right now. And I'm not sure how long I'm going to keep it in. This was um, a good, I guess, protective style and a good uh, break away so from So much for watching. So um, let me know if you have any questions or concerns um or anything like that um i'll put the link of the video that i pretty much just watched what she did and i pretty much did it except i have locks so i had to modify of course or according to my locks um but yeah um that's it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in another video bye